All right, back we go. Do some more videos. It is Wednesday, April 19th. All right, did a TQQQ, um, TNA. Let's look at this, what happened with this. This is small cat, bulls, three times levered, if people are unaware of what this is exactly. It basically, you know, mimics the Russell, I believe it's 2000, um, Russell 2000, I believe. Or actually the Russell 1000. I have to check exactly, but. It's basically the Russell, so it's small caps. All right, so you know this pre-market didn't have a lot of volume at all. Look at this, like no volume. And then this started to make a move up, you know, 31.25 line, came back, 30, 31. See this big space, all these lines. You can make it a little smaller. Yeah, you know, I'm playing pretty much these quarter lines. Started to move, so the market started to improve a little bit here <clears throat> early on at 10 a.m. 31 all the way up to 31.50. And look at it, today's open right at that line. This is yesterday's close. It's my like red line. It's like dashes. And then, yeah, this move up here. So that's a nice right there, you know, 25, 50 cent gain. Now, when you draw your lines, that's why these ETFs are a little better than small caps. They, you know, converge better with these lines. Small caps a little wilder, like the penny stocks. So just draw your line right here and look what happened here. Yeah, this was trying to get over, trying. Eventually, it's sideways. Now, what's going to happen sideways? You just went from low to low to low, and now we're 31.25. It takes off. Now, this easily could have went to 31.50. Now, it came back. You don't know exactly what anything's going to do. You have trends. You have to see what the market is doing. Now, this just came from up, so that's a good sign. You're trending up. Each low is getting higher. So, this moved 31.25. takes off to 32. And what do you have there? You have a nice 75 cent gain. You had a quarter gain here. You know, this was a nice long here. You'd also put a line right here. If you're playing that, pretty much it broke over that. So this was a solid gain. You know, if you even got in lower here, 31 is a dollar, a dollar gain, like a $30 stock. Very easy trades. They're very easy to see and look at. You can also see the indicators down here were pretty low. This one, not really at 20. This one right around that 20 line, you know, it's getting oversold during the day. Um, look at the daily chart of this. See going back, man, this thing's been down, down from January 2022. You know, October, November, it pulled up to this 40 line, pulled back, then had a really strong move January to 45. But yeah, this is um, coming back, not like uh, semiconductors, the NASDAQ. It's not been doing that well, small caps. Now in trading, um, small caps are the first to go. They're smaller cap market caps they're gonna if anyone's gonna trade or liquidate hedge funds money managers they're gonna get rid of small caps fast that's why there's bigger moves in this when the market's extremely up or down during days you'll see this really you know take off very negative or positive so be aware of that so here we are now you know up that 45 line came down you have a big broadening wedge here so you know put out your lines right here and basically here, so you can see this low line and then a high line. So, you know, came back pretty good here. That low is 26.71, has bounced, you know, the 32. Now it's back and forth. And it looks like it wants to climb here. You have stochastics coming up sideways. It looks like it wants to bounce higher. You know, any move higher would look for, you know, 35.40 if it's extremely strong. If not, you know, 30, this is going to go back and probably test right here at 26.65, then back in October at 27.16. See on the weekly, and the weekly is still downtrend here. Big bounce, bounce, but lower bounces. It bounce higher, chopping back and forth now. So you basically have, since July, we could call, you know, a line about 26.92 to... 45 back and forth line here it looks like it's rolling over though on the weekly see we're like we we got out of this zone got up to 20 now we're bending down going down it looks like monthly you're still over sold at this point going sideways looks like you're going to cross down it's not looking good here and you have a big crossover this was uh, the monthly was it january or april on the monthly chart what is before that and it comes down, and you have the 20 EMA over 30 EMA. Look at this. So 
It's like this thing of like going down a hill or something. This is like a ski slope. You're going down, down. This is going down. It can't break over this. It's back and forth chop. Now, it looks like something's going to happen. Either one way or another, it's going to either break up or down. And something's going to happen in the market. Um, the VIX was extremely low, too. It's very oversold. You know, what is the next catalyst? I'm not sure yet. Nothing's coming out. No news. You had the banks recently. So this is coming out. We'll see if this really just breaks down. It's not looking good here. You have three red candles on the quarterly. The quarterly, you have a sideways. Now, it looks the quarterly looks much better. See that width right here on the way up? Look at that. All them green candles. Red candles on the way down, and you have a sideways move now, which is usually bullish from you know top to bottom. Sideways will just break up or come down more. We'll see. Quarterly looks better, but you know, more recently the daily is trying to break up, but we'll see what happens here. Yeah, longer term, it's not looking great on the weekly or monthly. But again, these are these are mainly for trading too, all these three times levered ETFs because there's so much volatility. So there you have it, though, trading-wise. Nice quarter line came up 50 cents and then came back down just below to you know, 31.11. Then we bounced all the way up. Straight trading. Volatility. Dow Jones, um, S&P, the NASDAQ, small caps. Oh, yeah, this is um, Russell 2000. I'm sorry, TNA. I couldn't see my list. I forgot if it was a 1000 or 2000. These are Russell 2000. So. They have SOC semiconductors, FAS. Yeah, they're the main ETFs I trade is like a handful with that like five or six. Just keep it simple because they all match, you know, the market basically. And um, so there we go. So there's nice little moves here. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. More volatility. And remember too, on all these moves, even like, you know, Dow Jones and everything, look where we were. Yeah, ever since COVID, this went up, yeah, extremely high for months. This chopped sideways, but then you're down. So you're fighting to get all the way back up here. That's a previous. Now we have a, you know, a number on this. Those highs in one ten. So this is going to be great volatility, probably for, you know, years. I don't think this is going right up next year, or you know, it's not going to happen like that. So it's going to be great trading for you know a while. All right, that's it. Please subscribe to Mike Cayman Trades on YouTube. Smash the like button. I appreciate it. And Mike Cayman Trades on TikTok, um, any other social media. You can add me. Any other comments on um, these ETFs or any other stocks is always good. Good conversation. And that's it. Peace.